Today we're going to assemble the PLM header for a 2006 Honda Civic K20Z3 engine block SI. Yeah. Hi dad. <laughs> for this kind of car. Uh, so this is the coupe. Uh, really doesn't matter. I think. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and assemble this. I have my buddy's PLM header right there, just for reference. So, the one with the bunghole for the sensor will go right on top, on the top, on the pipes. Then this one will go right underneath it. So, I'm going to need both hands to do this for sure. Uh, so we're going to need a couple of flatheads to be able to pry open these pipes a little bit and a rubber mallet to mallet it in. Alright, so here I have my two screwdrivers and my mallet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lube this down with some probably WD-40. <laughs> <laughs> you discovered little wrapping package pops all right so let's go ahead and spray just the ends and then just the inlets on these and I'll rub my finger around it that way we get that all nice and lubed uh, I am wearing gloves if you noticed uh, that way we try to leave as little fingerprints as possible on the piping because they will become permanent I see a smudge there so we're gonna have to wipe these down regardless at the end but for now we'll get these nice and lubed up <laughs> and ready to insert them so um, like I said I'm gonna need both hands to do this so let me go ahead and work that sucker in there I also have a vise, which I'm probably thinking of using in case I have to. Nah, you can, these are hella flexy. We just gotta work them in. Well, that sucker just freaking slid in there. Look at that. Hell yeah. All right, now we got this one in. Uh, I think I should put the other one first before I start securing them. All right, this one did not go in like butter. My buddy across the street just started up his fucking car. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and uh, use a flathead to pry these pipes open and get that sucker in there. There it is. Now I'm going to hit it with the mallet to get, get it to sit all the way down like that one is. So here we go. All right and there it is. Nice and flushed. I used the box that it came with to sit it on top, hit it with the mallet, I was able to push the other one a little bit more down too. So there it is. Uh, I have a TIG welder, I'm thinking of welding these. <clears throat> Alright, coming right along, now we're going to go ahead and put in the last little piece to the puzzle. Go ahead and lube this up, lube those ends up, and do the same process, if we need to hit it in, we'll hit it in. Gotta hit it. All right, there it is. Now I'm gonna give it a, some taps. <laughs> Pretty hard. <laughs> we'll see how this comes out. Way. There it is. Pretty good. All I did was tap it, 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 tap it. Well, you see how hard I had to tap it. What's up? So, there it is. Nice and assembled. Now we gotta wipe it down. 
can't wait. And here is the test pipe. Test pipe. And I don't think we need the test pipe. We'll see. We'll see how it bolts up to to the car. We'll see when we get there. But that shall do it for now. This video was just of how to assemble the PLM header. Oh, not fully assembled yet. There we go. Now it's assembled. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to weld these. Uh, but I am going to have these on here so it doesn't warp a little bit. Uh, do the welds, then take it off, and then finish it, and then... We'll go from there, but that will do it for now. Sweet, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. All right, I'll finish her off proper. So you're gonna use a size 10, and I really don't know what size this is on Allen, but it shows a five. So maybe a size five Allen wrench and a size 10. Go ahead and tie this down. And we'll tighten the ones on the other side. All right, now she's done proper. Sweet. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.